This is Benziger. This is their 2009 Sonoma County Cabernet Sauvignon. Um, of course, Benziger is a very well-known producer in Sonoma, um, making lots and lots of different wines, good wines, all out of Sonoma County. Um, but what they've been focusing on for a number of years is um, sustainability and organic farming. And so they have their, uh, their own estate vineyards, which are all uh, organic and uh, biodynamic and sustainably farmed. But then they source from other growers, um, but they have a program with these growers that they have to follow that's, that's uh, a sustainable farming um, program and you know this is this is uh, something that they, they feel is very very important um, not just for maintaining you know, the earth and the environment and and the, the ability to continue to grow, grow grapes but they also feel that it that it improves the quality of the grapes and that these um, you know these sustainably grown grapes really make superior wine <laughs> so um, it's not just about, you know, what's on the label, right? But uh, ultimately, uh, the, the feeling is that it's translating to what's in the bottle. Um, you know, they even have the, the lightweight bottle that kind of lowers their carbon footprint, right? But none of that matters unless it's in here. So basically, you have uh, Cabernet Sauvignon from various vineyards uh, throughout Sonoma County. Um, growers that they work with, they, they try to uh, produce, uh, source the best possible fruit that they can, benchland fruit, um, hillside fruit, uh, low yield, um, temperature control fermentation, and then aging in oak barrels for 16 months. So That's a really pretty nose. Yeah. Black currants and black cherries. Just a little bit of like a sort of a toasty, smoky note. Mm. That's a nice cab nose. Let's try that. nice. A lot of nice fruit on this. Um, those black cherries are in there, but then I'm getting a really nice dose of dark chocolate that comes through in the mid palate, and there's a spicy component to this as well. So it comes, comes across pretty complex. Um, the tannins are supple, but uh, they're definitely there. They give it a little bit of a, you know, sort of a chewy quality. Um, but overall, it's it's pretty forward. It's something you know you really can just drink right now. Uh, you don't have to wait around. Um, you know, match it up with your favorite meat dishes, with uh, your your rack of lamb. Enjoy.